presented by EA Sports. Tonight we start week 14 with a great Thursday night matchup between the New Orleans Saints and the Atlanta Falcons. This will be fielded at the 8. And a good effort on the return there. Gets him across the 30 to the 33-yard line. And here come the Saints for their opening drive. And leading them out there, their 6-5 quarterback. to get this up over the 40. The numbers for him from a week ago, nine carries, 60 yards. And now that he's playing a Thursday night game short week, you know he spent a lot of time in the trainer's room in the cold tub trying to get his legs back for this game. If these kinds of lanes are available, you have to feel like he's going to have a pretty big game on the ground. Yeah, you can tell early on he's got a little burst in his step, and that's a big pickup right there on first down. Firing quickly here, and that's complete. And he'll go down right around the 47 this time. It'll go as a gain of six that time, and it moves the chains as well. I think defensively you're okay with that. You're in the first quarter. He's going to get some catches, but they rallied to him quickly. And that's what you count on, and I like what you just said. First quarter, can you do it all game long? They catch it, you tackle them, they go down on the spot. Because when you're able to do that and you don't give up big chunks of yardage after the catch, now you put the offense in a position where every series they have to work hard to pick up first downs and you tend to stall them out when you do that in recent years the slot receivers really gained stature in the nfl because they can do so many things yes they can line up wide like your normal wide receivers but to have that kind of courage and toughness to run routes in the middle of the field and become dependable targets for their quarterbacks and move the sticks those guys are worth their weight in gold i know the toss play begins with the guy taking the snap and turn around and tossing it to the runner but where the real intrigue is, can they seal the edge? Whether it's an offensive tackle or a tight end in the direction they want to run the football. If they do that, that's the result that you get, that type of a gain. If they don't, oftentimes it's not a very successful play. And the Buffet Boys, the O-line, hopefully they're ready today. Listen, you got to feed them first. But if you do, you usually get a great product out on the field. And when they play well, the quarterback can't wait to feed them afterwards. And they're just a couple of yards shy of a first down here on third down. They'll set up a throw. And down he goes. They sack him back right around the 41-yard line. You know, last week it was unbelievable how many times they were in the backfield. They had seven sacks. Whatever they had for pregame meal last week, maybe they had it again. I think they're going to continue to repeat it if they keep this up. But remember, we were at their facility, and we walked past the defensive meeting room, and what did it say over the door? rush the passer it's a philosophy it's a statement that's who they want to be and they've been very successful with it and he fires one that's intercepted picked off at the 30. room here to run and he's got daylight it's a foot race and he takes this one back into the end zone and the falcon defense has a touchdown so they go on fourth down. Not only do they not get it, it turns into six points the other way. Disastrous. And many people think you should just go ahead and knock it down in that situation. Turn it over for the offense. But I had a defensive coordinator recently tell me, we see that as a passive play. We don't do that anymore. We want the ball in our hands, and we want to head the other way. Probably also instinct a lot of times. If you see a lot of green grass ahead of you, go ahead and grab it. It's the exact right play to do. That's knowing when to break the rules and when to make a play that maybe you hadn't been taught. It's good, and that gives the Falcons a 7 to nothing lead. So they throw the pick six. They'll get another shot at it now as this one's in the air. This is taken at the three. And he's up across the 25 and down at the 28-yard line.
Out onto the field comes New Orleans. And last time, decent field position through the pick six. Obviously costly. But they can't afford to just bunker in now. All right, they, good field position means go ahead and attack on offense. Try and press the advantage a little bit. They just have to be better with the football on this possession. So the last one, that didn't bother you too much last time? No, because it's, it's exactly what you're supposed to do. You can't have good field position and not try to take advantage of it. Sometimes the defense makes a good play, too. Quarterbacks love slant routes because the receivers are breaking right into their line of vision, and receivers love them as well because they're getting the ball on the move and able to catch it and try and get upfield and gain additional yardage. And he gets this inside the 35-yard line. And 15 yards there on the catch and run. Good throw, good catch, but I really like the route. The drag and being able to run away from defenders, hard to stick with them for that long. Yeah, better against man than zone, or? Better against man, because now you're running away from someone, and you're not running into a defensive player in another zone. Over the middle, it's complete. And he gets this one all the way down inside the 15. And a nice gain of 21 yards. Partney sold the go route really well. Thought he was going deep, then curled it back inside for a nice completion. DBs love when they pump the brakes, don't they? Yeah, that's really, that's really a whole lot cool. of fun. It's almost like... And he'll take it into the end zone for the Saints touchdown. A great effort there. His ninth touchdown of the season. And the Saints are within an extra point of tying this thing up. And they drew up the counter there. It worked. They're glad they drew up the counter. And a lot of times what you're trying to do is just simply get the defense moving in one direction. It doesn't take much, even one step's enough. Get them going in one direction and then cut back against the grain and let your running back finish it off and get the work done. A drive there of just four plays. And it's capped off by a 13-yard touchdown run. So we're right back where we started, all even as the kick's away. That's fielded in the end zone. And no run back here. This will be a touchback, and it comes out to the 25-yard line. So here come the Falcons now to get the football for the first time. And a glance at the tall signal caller, standing 6'6". Six, six. some open field here and he'll be out of bounds across the 30 yard line these are his numbers from last week's contest 17 carries 60 yards and now that he's playing a thursday night game short week you know he spent a lot of time in the trainer's room in the cold tub trying to get his legs back for this game he'll look to throw going up top that's caught inside the 20 and it's a big play there as he is finally taken down on what will be a terrific final act of this first quarter. And they've got it here with a first down. And now inside the red zone, the offense will operate. And he'll give it here to his running back. And only about a yard there as he takes it from the nine to the eight. Defensively, pretty good start there with their backs against the wall. That's a win for the stop troops right there. And if I'm them, I get a little bolder now. They won the first battle, keep coming after them, put the pressure on them. shotgun he'll look to throw and he's got it and he'll take it into the end zone touchdown Atlanta the quarterback set up a tent could have roasted some marshmallows back there he had all time to throw great job protecting it can he have s'mores too absolutely i mean that's how much time he had pick pick your menu but the beauty of that play was the sense you got watching the offensive line they could have rushed four 
five, six, seven, and it felt like he would have been protected. The kickoff unit is out on the field, and they will send this one away. This will be fielded at the six. And he'll take this one near the 25, call it the 26-yard line. Out comes the Saints offensive unit and the NFC playoff race. Let's have a look at it. And for the moment, they're sitting pretty in possession of that number two seed and more importantly, perhaps, that first round bye. But they have to clinch it, don't they? Yeah. That's the key, right? So, in a sense, the playoffs have started. They've got to go ahead and get this thing done. Otherwise, it's a different road and you really don't want to be at the mercy of other teams and their results. A gain of six there on first. One thing I can say pretty safely, that route is not called if you don't have a guy who can throw the ball and put some mustard on it. Because if you go lollipop it in the middle of the field, bad things usually happen. It takes a strong-armed guy who can rifle it in there, and they were able to successfully complete that one. And a hit jarred it loose. It's incomplete. But one thing that I've liked defensively is that they've shown them a lot of different looks here in the first half. They've come after them. They've sat back. I think that's what you need to do to keep an offense guessing. And they certainly have kept them on their toes. That's why they haven't had much success on the scoreboard. And he comes back with one complete. It's a 10-yard pickup, and it moves the chains. Many different ways to create space, but on that play, he did it with that big, wide body of his. Didn't get a whole lot of yardage on the play, but it did what it was supposed to. Picked up a first down. Now a handoff looking right. And he'll push this forward only to about the 42-yard line. Just a yard on the first down carry, so it's second and nine. Nice job by that defensive front there to hold him to a short gain on first down. Well played, I must say. Yeah, only getting one yard. There was no room to run. Back to throw here. Rolling to his left. And some room to work. And he is out of bounds on the other side of midfield. Nothing open downfield. He keeps it himself for 11 and a first down. Obviously, a big play was needed. And you can see his eyes light up as he realized there's absolutely no one in front of him. And he takes off and goes, and goes a long way. Not only does he pick up a first down, but a big gain to boot. And he fires one incomplete. Well, sometimes those cliches really come true, don't they? When they talk about it takes all 11 to play good defense. We've seen that in this ball game. I think the secondary has to be singled out, though. They are in the presence of every receiver whenever the ball's thrown. And this one, they help force another incompletion. A minute 57 to go in this first half. We're back to Atlanta right after this timeout. A reminder that coming up in two minutes, we'll check in with Larry Ridley in Orlando with highlights and analysis of this first half of play. And I'm going to check in with a heater. I'm going to be right there with you, partner. And he'll toss this one incomplete. Seeing no options, he throws it away. And nobody was open downfield there. Looked like a pretty clear throw away. Yeah, it definitely was that. I'm wondering why there was an intentional grounding. I know they're saying there's a receiver there in the area. Those dumb quarterbacks, they get away with everything. <laughs> Spoken like a true defensive bat, Mr. Oh, did, Davis. Did, did that come out? It did. Okay. Now this will be the ninth play on this drive. From the red zone now, they'll look to throw. Flushed out right. <laughs> Another nice gain, 13 yards that time, and another first down. Well, that was man coverage. So once he decides to run with the football, there's no one to account for him, and he turns it into a nice gain. Back at the 11-yard line. 
Well, that was point counterpoint, wasn't it? They decided to throw for it on first and goal. Instead, the defense counters with pressure, and the defense wins, getting a big sack. Here's a play fake as they set up to throw. And that is incomplete here. Not only did they drop it, it looked like an interception in the end zone, they blew a golden opportunity to shift the momentum. Just play after play after play on this long drive for the offense. Here we go, Josh. Looking to throw. And he is into the end zone. Touchdown, New Orleans. And a little time left on the clock, so on the other side, they're thinking, gosh, we'd like to get that lead right back. Yeah, thanks for pointing that out. Here I am <laughs> going ahead and tapping out the first half. Well, There's still time. Way. They've got to make a decision about what they want to do on the kickoff, whether they want to let their return guy touch it. Extra point attempt to follow here. And we've got a good one brewing. We're all knotted up at 14. So a tie ball game here as the kick's away. That'll be taken in the end zone. And no run back here. This will be a touchback, and it comes out to the 25-yard line. Atlanta now coming out on the field. And Charles, the way touchdowns have come so fast and furious for both sides in this thing, it's starting to feel a little bit more like maybe a tennis match than a football game. Yeah, I like your description there. Maybe we're sitting in a nice royal box watching this type of a game. But let's face it, right now, the way it's going back and forth, it's going to come down to who can get a stop. Whether well, slinging it, and then there's one you got to put a timer on, huh? I mean, that one came in hot. That yeah, came in hot, but overthrown out of his reach and incomplete. Now a handoff here to his running back. Trying to find a lane, but instead he'll get back to the line of scrimmage. And no more. No gain on that one as it brings up a third and ten. And when you're running the football, one thing you don't want to see is a big boy coming up there to swallow you whole in those D tackles and nose tackles. No, you're actually counting on your big boys to protect you from them. But on that play, the defensive tackle had the leverage, and he won the battle. No gain, correct? No gain. Both teams appear ready for the fight ahead, and we resume action here in quarter number three. That's fielded in the end zone. And no run back here. This will be a touchback, and it comes out to the 25-yard line. Now the Falcons' offense gets ready to head back onto the field. First half showed us some pretty good offense. Tie game. We'll see what the second half brings. And it'll be interesting because I think both sides feel pretty good about what their offenses are doing. Got to wonder what adjustments are being made defensively to try and get a spark and maybe slow down the other side. And here, do you change up anything on this opening drive? Not offensively, you don't. You've got everything going your way. You've probably prepared for maybe some change-ups you might expect, but overall, you like what your game plan is showing you. Yeah, give him four yards there. It'll be second and six. I'd say they've got to find a way to get him going. He's such a big part of their offense. I wonder if they might throw it a little and come back to the run. Anything, because you're right. He's pretty much been completely neutralized. <laughs> and some space here. And he gets this up to the 34 out of bounds there. It's a five-yard gain, but they'll still be a yard short here with third down now looming. Well, they're hoping that the second half is better for him than the first half. They've got to find a way to get him going. He's a big part of their offense. And to give this time to the tailback. No gain on the play there. A nice job defensively. And it likely forces a punt situation on fourth. That was a terrific job by the defense stopping them on third and short. But sometimes you get some visual cues from the offense because when they're going in short yard situations, you might see the offensive line come in tighter together. A little more shoulder to shoulder, trying to wedge a hole in the middle. They didn't get it done on that play. Able to slither by. 
It's a 40-yard punt, six yards on the return, and the Saints will take over with a first down and 10. Now the attention turns to the Saints offense getting ready for their first possession of the second half. Their defense did its job, yielded no points. Now it's the offense's turn. And how much fun is that when you set things up to start a half and you just tell you guys, hey, if you can shut them down, get it back for our offense, we can roll. And they played out perfectly. Now can the offense do what they wanted to do at the half, which is find those weaknesses and now attack them and score some points. And break this tie. Give him 10 yards there and about by the nose of the football, he's going to have a first down. They'll look to throw here on first down. And quick throw here, that's complete. And he'll be taken down at the 46-yard line. A gain of six there on first. He decided to run a hitch route. It really helped to have a guy who could turn it loose. And boy, he rifled one in there on that one. Not much run after catch, but it worked really well. And he'll give it here to his running back. And he'll fight his way forward to about the 48-yard line. And he got half of what he needed there, two yards. And it'll bring up a third and two more. Well, that's all about doing the dirty work right there defensively. Second and short yardage, that's all about plugging those gaps, not giving the running back a crease to run through. And has a nice job to hold him just a couple and force a third down. Being chased out left. And he's going to have the first down at about the 38. Opted to run for it. The decision, a good one. Picking up the first, getting 14 yards on the scramble. Man, defensively, that hurts. They got him out of his rhythm. They had him hemmed in, but somehow he was able to tuck it away and get away for a gain. Well, the offense lining up first and 10. They'll look to throw here. Escaping the pressure right. And that'll be incomplete. Sometimes the coverage is so good, no matter what you're doing on offense, you just can't shake anyone free. They try their best to find someone open, but they took away every passing alley, every angle, and shut the play down. He'll try again with the arm here on second down. And a little floater there, but it'll wind up incomplete, falling to the ground. When we talk with people about what we think the most important quality for an NFL quarterback to possess, what do people usually say? Arm strength, and he showed the arm strength there. Yeah, pretty good bullet pass he threw, but he wasn't accurate, was he? No. Listen, you like mobility, but accuracy, first and foremost, is what a quarterback needs. He didn't possess it on that play. The Saints on third down. They've been good. Three for four thus far. This is third and ten. Let's go. Now back to throw. Now they set up the screen. That's complete. And he works it to the 30-yard line here, right at the 30. Eight yards on the screen there. Not enough. And it'll be fourth down. They dialed up the screen pass on third down, and for a second, it looked like it was all going to come together, and they had a chance to pick up a first down, but the defense got there and finished it off. Out now is the field goal unit for New Orleans. It'll come from the right hash. It's a 47-yard attempt, and his kick is absolutely perfect. And they take a 17-14 lead. So they don't get a touchdown here on this opening drive of the third quarter, but I think you still say mission accomplished as they come away from it with the lead. Absolutely. You've got to apply the pressure here, make the other guys play catch-up for a while, and now you just hope your defense can step up and protect the lead. the kickoff unit as they run up and send this one away. That'll be taken in the end zone. And no run back here. This will be a touchback and it comes out to the 25-yard line. Now the Falcons offense, they get ready to head back out here. And a tight game after punting last time. See if they can get something going on this drive. As they head to the field now for the game 
this close, you've got to feel there's a sense of urgency for them going on offense right now. But they have to do it without letting panic creep in and affect their play. And it pops free. The collision there jarred the ball loose and brings up second down. It's a lot of contact going on there, and in the end, unable to keep two hands on the football and bring it into his body. Everything looked pretty good until the finish. And now here's a carry heading left, and it's been like this all night long. Nowhere to run as they stop him behind the line. They'll lose a yard, and it brings up third. Sometimes with the running game, you've just got to stick with it. Look, it's the third quarter, no time to panic. But that also doesn't mean you just do it the same way you've been doing it the entire ball game. Maybe change up some blocking. Back now here on EA Sports. It's been a very hotly contested game to this point. Just a field goal separating these two teams as we get set for the fourth quarter. Let's go! They'll drop to throw. Now he'll let it go deep over. He's got a man complete. And all the way down to the 36-yard line. Now after the completion, we're going to get a timeout, an injured player. While the trainers take a look, we'll step aside. Both teams working on short rest, but this has been one of the better Thursday night games we've seen as they come up here on first and ten. Now a play fake here on first down. Oh, he got position on him, and he pulls it in. Another nice gain, 13 yards that time, and another first down. First down and ten now for the offensive group. to throw a swing pass caught and he's brought down after a good game 23 yards on the play in the red zone this time they come out here in the eye shift together here from the D line now they'll run it on the toss and he will take it in for a Falcon touchdown. A great play there with touchdown number eight on the year. And the Falcons have taken the lead here in the fourth. I know we don't talk about it enough, but the intelligence level of the guys up front blocking, the offensive linemen, maybe the smartest guys in football overall. Add in a little bit of athleticism and a whole lot of toughness, you've got a lot to deal with, don't you? That's why the guys in the backfield get them really nice Christmas gifts, right? If they're smart, they do. Trailing in the fourth this close of a game, that's a penalty you just can't afford. It's an absolute killer, and it's one that drives coaches and teammates insane. The kickoff team on the field now as they will send this one away. This will be taken to the back of the end zone. And no thought to bring this one out. He'll just go down to a knee, and they'll take over at the 25. Out onto the field comes New Orleans. And last time, able to get three. It's not what they wanted. They wanted six, but they got at least something. They mustered something out of the drive. They'll take it. Just, I, I like the way you've described it. Not ideal, but they'll take it. Anything to put some points on the board. But this time on offense, they don't even want to see the field goal kicker trot on the field. <laughs> they want that ball in the end zone. Yeah, they'll be going for six. They'll come out throwing here on first down. And he finds a man on the crossing route. 15 yards through the air and a first down. Tell you what, he's been able to put the ball in some tight spots all game long. That throw, no different. Yeah, a lot of people would call it a gutsy type of a throw. I think he looks at it as, I can do it, so it's not that big of a deal to me. And I'm going to keep firing. Now they'll run it on the toss. And not much room to operate as he'll get this up only to about the 41. Credit him with a one-yard gain there to make it second and nine.
The offense certainly looking to score some points, but they also need ball security here late as we get down to the final moments of this one. He'll look to throw. Eluding the pressure right. And he'll avoid the tackle there with a slide. Give him 10 that time, escaping the danger, running with it, and picking up a first down. Partner, he was going through his progressions. Not there, not there. After about the third one, he decided he better pull it down and run for it. And he slides down and avoids the hit for good measure. Time for a break. We'll come back, see what transpires after this. So it's Saints football as we get you reset. They come up on a first and 10, desperately needing a score here on what could be their final drive. complete there. But not to get too overcritical there because he knows what he's doing, but his shoulders looked a little off kilter there when he threw that. I don't think you're being overly critical there. You're just analyzing it, and he gets those shoulders right. That pass will go from incomplete to complete. Offense looking to avoid a third and long. It's second and ten. They'll look to throw. Flush to his right. And he can't corral it. That would have wrapped it up if he'd been able to hold on. Instead, it brings up third down. I guess they're in a situation now, fourth quarter, where they're forced to take some chances, but I don't know that that was the type of a chance you want to take. And that one could very easily have been intercepted. And if it does get picked off, that could possibly seal this one. He'll look to throw. And this time he's got the hookup. It's complete. And yeah, brought down, but not before he was able to break the tackle, and the extra effort moves the sticks. A nice pickup there of 11 yards, and it'll move the sticks. He's back to throw, and he can't get a throw away. He's taken down. Offense walks to the line for play number seven of the drive. to throw and he's got his big tight end over the middle complete and he's going to get this one down right to the edge of the red zone of the chalk of the 20 a good pick up there a 22 and now all of a sudden the shoe's kind of on the other foot maybe you pull the reins back here a bit yeah a little bit because you got to make sure that you don't score too quickly back to throw He couldn't quite hold it. Got hit. Ball pops out. Incomplete. That would have been a great catch, but it was real difficult to hold on to it because it was contested all the way. Would have been a great play if he had been able to haul that one in. Now he'll look to throw here on second and ten. And incomplete there. A nice hit. Jars the ball free and brings up third down. This drive, which was going so smoothly, all of a sudden it's a little bit of a roadblock here with two straight incompletions. Yeah, apparently this defense has had enough. Apparently they're saying no more. We're speaking a stand right here, right now. But it is third and ten. They've got to get after him one more time. He'll drop to throw. Dancing to his left. He may try and run for... He takes it across for the touchdown, and they've taken the lead late in the final minute of the fourth. Wow, wow. 
Wow, I know it's a never say never situation, but to me, that looks like that's the one that's going to finish them off. The score that puts them in front here late, but now you got to rally your kick team, don't you? And say the last thing we need is a big return. And what happens is guys get over eager, get out of their lane because they're so excited they want to make the last tackle. <laughs> you mess up, could come back at you a long way. A pretty long drive that time. 11 plays all told. And to cap it off, a touchdown run of 20 yards. Set now to kick this one away, and off it goes. That'll be taken in the end zone. And with time a factor here late, he'll just take a knee and they'll start things out at the 25. Atlanta now coming out on the field. They're only in need of a field goal, a decent amount of time on the clock. So tell me if I'm wrong. You don't have to be too panicked here. No, not at all. I agree with you. And this is where your preparation and your confidence comes into play. They've worked on these situations. Yeah, they practice this all the time. Oh, they practice it all the time. They know what they want to get done. And in a lot of cases, the great competitors, they love this situation. They think they can go ahead and get it done. They practiced it. We'll see if practice makes perfect. So he's unable to complete it there, and just not the game that you would expect from him. He's been off the mark, really, start to finish. Yeah, it makes you wonder what exactly is going on. Is he a little bit dinged up here? Is he just off just by a bit? Maybe he can get it back in this situation. He'll need to. He's going to let it fly. And that's caught inside the 35. A big time play there for the Falcons. 43 yards. They'll set up to throw. Throwing for his running back, and he's got him complete. And he's across for the touchdown, and it's likely the game winner here in the closing stages. So for those of little faith, guess what? It got done. They now have the lead with that touchdown this late in the contest. I wonder if that was a play they were holding or a play that they just knew would work from past experience. Well, I just saw it in their eyes on the sideline before starting that last drive, and they did. You're right. They got it done. Looks like they're going to be the winners. Point after here, coming up. And it would appear they're going to get out of here with a come-from-behind victory. So a 75-yard scoring drive on just three plays. And the end result, an Atlanta touchdown. The kickoff unit is out on the field, and they will send this one away. This is fielded at the chalk of the 10. And a good effort on the return there. Gets him across the 30 to the 33-yard line. They'll try and start this drive in the air. Is incomplete seven seconds remaining there's definitely contact there but it's the fourth quarter of a kind of tight game and sometimes the officials just say let them play kind of like your mom used to do, you and your brothers just take the broom to you and send you out to the backyard to the sun <laughs> yourselves i like that yeah there was contact oh a crusher there as it's intercepted picked off at the 46 <laughs> 